my name's Becky, and I'm part of the Margaret Harbour Congregation of the Living Rock Church. During the lockdown time, uh, we've really enjoyed spending a lot of time in the garden and going on walks and enjoying God's creation. We've had some really great weather to be able to do that, haven't we? I wonder whether you've actually really looked closely at a tree or a flowering plant. If you have, you'll notice that every leaf is different or every flower on the stem is different. Each one just a little bit uh, of a different texture or colour, slightly different shape. I was looking at a foxglove the other day and I noticed that the little pattern of dots that lead the bee into the, into the flower, into the nectar, each flower had a slightly different pattern. It just made me think about God as the creator and how he must enjoy the creative process. I sometimes make greetings cards with little stitched pictures or things made out of paper. And I find that if I make more than two the same, I get a bit bored and I just want to change it around and do something a little bit different the next time. And I'm sure God must be the same. He must enjoy the creative process and the variety in his creation. People are also part of God's creation and I'm sure you'll have noticed there's a great variety there too. I'm going to just read something from Psalm 139. Starting at verse 13. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvellous. How well I know it. You watched me as I was being formed in utter seclusion, as I was woven together in the dark of the womb. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. The psalmist records such care and attention to detail. We weren't made on a conveyor belt or stamped out of a mould. Each one of us was carefully and individually designed and created. Ephesians 2 verse 10 says that we are God's handiwork or his masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do the work God has prepared for us to do. It's like we're in God's studio being worked on, his masterpiece, his work of art. And it's a process. None of us is the finished article yet. God is constantly refining, adding to or taking away, shaping us to the, be the person that he knows that we can be. Philippians 1 verse 6 says, I am certain that God, who began the good work in you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. How exciting to think that I am individually designed and made by the creator of the universe. And that it's not just a one-off process. He doesn't just make us and then forget all about us. He cares about enough, he cares enough about us to continue that process throughout our lives, constantly shaping and refining and making us new. I hope that's been an encouragement to you too. Have a great day. Thanks for joining us today. Search for us online and get information about upcoming events and more great teaching.